there besties welcome back to the channel it's me Gigi and today we are working on a set inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement I am so inspired by all of the passion and love and amazement that I see in all the wonderful people who are out protesting and just doing the most amazing work that needs to be done right now and so I wanted to do what I could to reflect that in this what I think is a beautiful set of nails I really love how they came out and so what we're doing now is I have painted five tips black and what I'm doing is just coming in with some red polish and just coming in at a diagonal on that and we're going to do the same thing with some yellow on the opposite end of each tip and of course everything is going to get two coats um, or three because the yellow actually needed three for it to really look opaque against that black and um, so I definitely went on ahead and gave it that third coat although I didn't do it on camera but you will see how bright and awesome it looks at at the end when we go to put the letters in there because these three nails are where the BLM is going to go and I, I really <laughs> I was so stressed out about writing the letters because you know I don't know if this is a just a me thing or if other people are like this but some days my handwriting looks really good and other days it looks like a serial killer's handwriting, so, or what you may imagine a serial killer's handwriting looks like. Although, you know, when I think about that, if you think about the show Dexter, I bet his handwriting is beautiful. So, just like meticulous, right? Because he's meticulous. That was a, a weird little aside tangent. Anyway, here we are. We're going to come back in with that second coat. And I really should have shown you the third because... I should have but I didn't I just thought oh they'll see how pretty it is <laughs> sometimes you make decisions in the moment that later you're like hmm I could have done better could have made a better choice on that and I think this might be one of them but anyway I know you know what putting a coat of nail polish on looks like so I'm gonna stop beating myself up about it how about that that sounds like a good idea to me <laughs> okay um Honestly, the rest of this set is just so easy and self-explanatory. I didn't want to do a super difficult set for the BLM set, uh, which honestly, I, f I feel so inspired by the movement. I'm sure this is the first of many. So, but I wanted it to be simple, like literally anyone could recreate this. And if you have stamps with letters, that would make it probably even easier. Now, um, I'm really happy when I come in and make the B, but the L and the M, um, I do twice because I just, as I was looking at them, I'm like, mm, I could do better. And so I did, I did better. And I, the reason I went with cursive letters is, is really an easy thing. I write prettier in cursive. Actually, my handwriting is sort of um, a mishmash of the two. It's half cursive, half printing. And so certain letters I can print really pretty and other ones not as much. And I just knew if I tried to do like block letters or something, I was not going to be able to pull it off. So I just went on ahead and did the cursive letters because especially when you're talking about the capital letters to me I just think that the cursive is so pretty right and in this case even though I guess a lot of the younger kids don't really read cursive I think that the capital letters are um, see here we go we're taking this off I think the capital letters are pretty easy to distinguish what they are even if you don't read cursive which I guess I understand but at the same time I guess I, I'm not sure I, I don't understand what the problem with cursive letters are but I, I don't have kids in school let me just say that and so I really don't pay as much attention to what's going on at school as I used to because you know I don't have kids there so 
It's right here, I think, that I'm like, no, I don't like that one either. I'm curing the other two, and here goes the M. Yeah. And again, I've said this a million times, when you're coming back in with your fresh paint, make sure your nail is dry. Because if it's not, that alcohol is going to keep your, your gel paint from adhering to the other gel. And already I'm happier, but I think it's a little too long, so we're fixing that. I feel like if I took a calligraphy class, maybe that would, would make me feel better about my lettering. Maybe I should consider that. What do you think, guys? Let me know. Okay, this is actually a super short video, so what I want you to do is let me know in the comment section below. Do you like the video short? Do you like them longer? Let me know. Uh, sorry, that's my landlord sending me a text message. My thermostat went out, so my air conditioner won't come on, of course, and it's going to be in the 90s today. It's already hot. That's why you can hear my fan because I literally could not turn that off. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know it's a little noisy. I'm, I need to get a microphone. That's what I need to do. On this nail, we're just coming in with some swooshes because you know, mama likes a fancy thumbnail. And we do leave the pinky nail just plain black. And I'm just really struggling deciding where to put everything right now. And that made me happy. Yay! And I don't know why that was in there. I think I misedited that, oops. Coming in with a little top coat. I'm sorry the other two nails were top coated off camera. And we'll be coming up any second now with that finished look. Guys, I'm so pleased with how these came out. Let me know if you liked them in the comment section below. And if you think I did the movement justice with this set, would you like to see more BLM sets? I would love to do more for you guys. Before you guys leave, please do me a favor and click all my buttons and don't forget to share this video. I would love to grow this community and have so many nail besties here to chat with and engage with and have fun with. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.